joined by Mary Claire Heisel and Julie Talbert from the now national champion Seagulls from Salisbury University. You know, ladies, when I say that, go ahead and just, you know, first start, we'll start with Mary Claire and then Julie, talk about what it means to be able to say that about yourselves and then have that trophy in your hands. Um, I think it's just such a great privilege and opportunity that uh, we've had the chance to play this season and that um, we've worked really hard to be here and we're just really thankful that um, we got to play this season. I think, um, I think I'm in shock a little bit, just a little bit. Uh, you know, I've had two sisters go through this program and it, it's important for girls to go through something like this. Just being on a team, that team mindset changes you. Um, and I, I can't speak because I'm in shock. <laughs> but I, I, we've been talking all season about, you know, we're doing it for us, but we're also doing it for last year's seniors. We're doing it for the girls that couldn't have this opportunity. We're doing it for the girls that, you know, we could have won last year. And seeing them yesterday and today, there's, their full support meant the world to us. And we also did this for, you know, our assistant coach, Al Anson, that I've been saying all week. She, <clears throat> my freshman year, we lost a seventh final game on this field. Um, and that was her senior year. So changing that memory to this memory is pretty, pretty cool. That is very cool. And we'll open it up to some gentlemen here that have some questions about more of your cool performances. And I'll start, guys, I'll go right down the line. Ralph Benarchik, we'll start with you from the Turner stream, please. Yeah. Hey Julie, uh, just, I'm sure you uh, you were at the at the 2014 national championship game. I'm sure you watched that. Uh, you went to all those uh, that Caitlin and Alyssa played. Uh, describe perhaps how that shaped you, uh, and uh, perhaps you should have been the last person, perhaps nervous to play in a national championship game, based on your experience and even going way back to, you know, I guess you would have been that that eight, I guess, in that like 2011. You know, watching those, uh, j just to describe perhaps uh, how that shaped you to uh, be prepared to handle this moment today and produce. Yeah, the towers have been around for a while, so uh, yeah, I, um, I mean, my parents have done this about nine times, nine years, I think, in a row now. So I, I don't know if we're happy or not that we're not happy that we don't have a fourth child. I don't, I don't know how coach feels about that. Uh, yeah, it. It's cool. It was nice. Uh, you know, I, I remember watching 2010 on TV and I remember watching it late and we weren't allowed to go on the internet because we couldn't watch the game, but we had to watch it live. So we didn't want to know who won. Um, and I think it was, forget who it was. It might've been Allie Wheelie that did like a body ball. So I don't know. It's, it's a crazy memory for me, but I remember sitting in my living room watching that. Um, 2013 and 2014 at Gettysburg and Stevenson were also huge moments for me, just being there in general. Um, I, I remember the Stevenson confetti coming out. Like, it's just those weird memories that you remember. Um, so growing up around Salisbury, just always being involved. I mean, I went to all coaches clinics. I was probably annoying because I was there all the time, but it, it's, it was nice. It, it was, I think it has shaped all three of us to be the people that we are. And, you know, watching Alyssa and Caitlin go through, watching Alyssa's heartbreak, you know, she was also in Allie Henson's senior class, watching her lose on this field um, has just motivated me personally for all four years. You know, Caitlin has two rings, now she'll probably get a third because she's an assistant coach, but um, it, it's that fire underneath of me specifically that this ring isn't just mine, it's Alyssa's. Um, she did so much for the program, too much for me to even list anything out, but definitely being around has shaped us to be the people that we are for sure. Ricky Pollitt, please, if you have a question. Hey, Julie, I remember your signing day at Worcester Prep, you know, <laughs> oh, gosh. You, know you just talking about how excited you were to join SU. I remember one thing you said back then was, you know, obviously win a national championship, but you really wanted to embrace that leadership role as well. And, you know, we just talked to coach who said, you know, you're a coach both on and off the field. I mean, you, you command um, your teammates. So can you kind of just take us through your development from that freshman who came in a few years ago out of Worcester Prep to the player who's leaving today? Yeah, um, he definitely made me cry on that one for sure. <laughs> it might come back. The girls above me. Um, I think all, uh, all of the teams that I've played on from, you know, 
peewee from five until here at 22. But the girls above me, specifically my freshman year, Chrissy Alley, Alyssa, Dana, Gianna, um, all five leaders, not a single one of them was it. All five of them, you know, captains to me. And I think learning under them was huge. Um, gaining that leadership knowledge from them, I, I got to give it to them for sure. Brandon Bosser. Hello, uh, congratulations, first of all. Amazing season, amazing accomplishment. Uh, talk about that final save uh, where you intercepted the ball, uh, you know, up one. Uh, what's going through your head at that point? Amazing play. Thank you. Um, I think the only thing going through my head was get the ball back. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and I think our defense was, uh, you know, doing really well to be able to um, give, give, uh, to, you know, give me the opportunity to run out and get the ball. But um, I think that uh, that was pretty much the only thing going through my head. Yeah, uh, not only were you, go ahead. you guys able to, to get the save there, you also were able to run out the, the rest of the block. So uh, talk and talk about the ability of your team to, you know, in, in high pressure situation, be able to run that clock out with about a minute and a half to go. Yeah, so I think we have a really good, um, our defensive clear. Uh, is really, really strong. And we worked all season to uh, clear the ball efficiently and get it up the field so that attack can do their job and, uh, you know, with the most amount of time on the shot clock. Um, and I think all of our work all season um, doing redirecting drills and just, you know, clearing every day at practice has really paid off. Um, and, you know, you could really see that in the last 40, 40 seconds of the game where we uh, successfully cleared the ball up the field. I want to expound a little bit about your skill of being able to read the game back there and go ahead and step into those passing lanes. Cause I saw it, I was at Washington Lee last week and I saw it several times then I saw it several times this week. And obviously talk a little bit about what it took to build that skill. Or is that something that's just innate to you and how important that is? And maybe Julie, you can kind of comment on this too, about how important it is to have a goalkeeper that can spur the transition from that sort of thing. Um, well, I think it comes down to just, you know, reading, reading the ball and reading the players. Um, and, you know, coach tells us this a lot where he, you know, saying, read the def or read, read the attack and uh, you know, watch where they're going. And um, I think that's, that's all that really. Yeah. I think uh, from the attacking side, when, <laughs> when MC gets an interception, we have to score. I, I think our mindset is, you know, we're not going to let defense work this hard to throw the ball away to not put it in the back of the net. I think I jumped and almost fell down. I was so excited when she got that last interception. I mean, all, all season, she's just, she's been killing it. You've killed it. Absolutely. But. Absolutely. Sarah Parham, question for the ladies. First of all, congratulations, guys. Um, MC, you saved your best performance of the season for the most important games of the year. You, you played phenomenally in the tournament. You had 13 saves against Ithaca. You made the kind of the game clinching interception to seal the victory in the national championship. You know, um, what, what, what how's it feel right now just to, you know, save your best performance for last and get the national championship? For I'm just there. so happy. <laughs> I'm, I'm so happy that uh, we were able to get a win for our seniors um, and for, you know, because these guys have been just amazing all season just uh motivating us and keeping us you know working towards our goal and you know we did that we got our goal so <laughs> i um before the game it was funny i i was like hey, give me your give me your ethic again i want that again you know it was a career number of saves and <laughs> mc said i'm gonna give you my game <laughs> I said, okay, we're winning then. I, I, at that moment, I'm not in season. But at that moment specifically, I was like, this game's ours. Justin File from USA Lacrosse. Um, Julie, can you just talk about the effectiveness, effectiveness of the offense today? Obviously, they tried to take away Alexis and it kind of had to, you know, rely on other people when uh, you couldn't get the ball to her. So just talk about, you know, the balance. I know you guys have had it all year, but just talk about why it was so good today. Right. So the cool thing about our offense is every, everybody's a weapon. Uh, you know, I love Lexi to death and she loves being taken away. She's like, how do I get other people open? You know, and you can, 
you can take her away, but we have, we've got depth. We've got, you know, the other six girls out there that can create, um, and we can. And I think we saw that today, which was perfect. Uh, we have been harping all season, just staying composed, especially throughout the tournament and, you know, the C2C playoffs, we've been limiting the mistakes, limiting the turnovers, making sure that every look we get is, you know, a, a productive look. If the goalie makes a great save, the goalie makes a great save. That, you know, as long as we get the clock down, especially at the end when we're up by four and there's 10 minutes left, composure, get it down to 30. After that, if we, you know, a, a shot's just extra, we got to get the clock down. So defense can, defense can gear up to get the ball back, which I think we did a great job of today, just staying composed. Ralph, any more questions for our players here? Uh, I think, uh, you know, Julie, you probably best to answer this, but uh, just how different was this, you know, you guys had the benefit of uh, this season, you know, compared to, you know, let's say your first three years, uh, you know, give us a sense of uh, people on the outside of, of uh, describe just how different this was and uh, how hard it was to try to, you know, reach Salisbury kind of typical level on an annual basis, you know, on paper, of course, it looks like it's there, right, unbeaten, but uh, how difficult was this to perhaps have your your skills, uh, the cohesion on both ends of the field, and those things that in a, in a normal year uh, you would have? How, how different was this? Uh, very different. Uh, first of all, you know we're we're extremely grateful to just have been able to play. I think everybody at on Salisbury campus that got us on that turf, we thank you deeply. I mean, I got this cool hat on, so we're pretty stoked. Um, but we thank everybody that made this happen for us. It was definitely a different year. There's just and everybody experienced this, but there's that underlying stress, that underlying anxiety on top of all the other things. You know, we're lacrosse players, but we're in school. School's not easy. Zoom class is not easy. So really focusing on our mental health was something huge this year that I hope we take into, you know, years in the future. Check-ins once a month. I'm like, who needs me? Is everybody good? If you, you know, if you need to take a break, take a break. If you need to see somebody, let me know. You know, we were very much, I got your back this season. I, on top of the already sense of I got your back that this team always is. Um, so I think we really wanted to focus on making sure that everybody was healthy mentally and physically throughout, you know, these, these absolutely crazy times. Ricky, another question. Yeah, Mary Claire, I feel like for you guys, the past couple of years, you come into the season with the mindset, let's get back to where we were and then do better since, you know, you guys had come up uh, short of winning a national title. Now going into next season, since you will be defending champs and defending this title, how is the approach any different? I think it's the same. I think we have the same approach of, you know, let's, let's get back to where we are right now. You know, we know how this feels right now and I want to experience this again next year. Um, so I think that, you know, all of our work that we put in starting now uh, is going to be building up uh, from, you know, a year from now today, when hopefully we're in the same spot and, you know, with the same smiles on our face. <laughs> Brandon, any further questions for our players? No, thank you, sir. But once again, congratulations, lady, on the national championship. Thank you. Thank you. Daryl, any further questions? Congrats, guys. Thank you. Justin, any further questions? Thanks. Congrats. Yeah. Ralph, any more? Can All I right. say one more thing? And one more second. Ricky. Well, I, I, have, I have one more if we can yep. squeeze it in. Um, Julie, I know you and your sisters are close. Um, does this kind of take away from any bragging that Caitlin has done the past, you know, several years? Does, does it put you guys on, on even ground now? No, nah, she's been pretty calm about it because she knows Alyssa and I have. Mm -mm, yeah, we all take that. So. <laughs> Yeah, uh, she's she's remained humble with her wins. We'll say that. Well, Julie, as you requested, we'll give you the final word here. Shout out Matt Nine. Yes. Our strength coach. He is the man. He is one of them, probably under coach. One of the main reasons that we're here. He yes. I already have like five text messages from him and he's probably blown up the group me. So he and the staff under him, Dave, Mitch, Logan, Emily, everyone. I, we appreciate them so much for getting us into the shape, getting us the strength, and the injury prevention that they do is stellar, and they all deserve raises. <laughs> well, congratulations to him and to those associated with your program so that the two of you can be sitting there with the national championship hats on. Congratulations, Ooh. ladies. Thank you very much. Thank you.